Wow, it's the reverse where my arms don't match my face. Usually the other way around and my face is much tanner than my arms, but Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to do something that I think is gonna turn out terrible, but maybe not everything. I'm not really sure. In my mind, this sounded like the best idea ever. And uh, I feel that way about a lot of the videos that I make and then I go back in time and I'm like, what was I thinking? You're crazy. Um, Erica. I'm here is in the room. I was just gonna tell you to like pipe down and not roll around in your chair, but you're sit. rolling closer to me. I wanna sit and watch ah. you and make you nervous. Oh what, Mike, do you hear this? And I'm just gonna speak for the record behind the camera that if some of you like these products that she's about to review, give me a hard time, not her, oh. because I pick them out, so. You're amazing. <laughs> give nurse Erica the hard time. Okay, so what we're doing is I'm gonna be testing out the lowest rated products from some of my very favorite luxury high-end brands. So I have Marc Jacobs, Becca, I have Bobbi Brown, Tarte, NARS. There is an array of product here. I did not shop for these. Erica went and shopped. She found like horrifying, awful reviews like, this burned, it gave me cake face. Oh my God, it flakes so hard, like I hate this product. And we were looking at all the reviews and we're like, oh my gosh, like a lot of people vocally do not like this one product, but it's from a brand that like the two of us really love. I mean like, I can find a top product from any of these brands. So I'm really curious to put them all together and do a full face. We thought it was kind of fun and I hope you guys like it. And if you don't, I was thinking of something witty. I have nothing to say. Give Erica a hard time. Three, two, one, let's jump in. But wait, rewind. You can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then take it a step further. It's kind of like the sprinkles on top to hit the bell. Just ring the bell. It's good for you. It's nutritious. It gives you more content, extra luck, um, good vibes only. I don't know why I'm like the bells here. The first product that we are gonna test out, I'm actually shocked and horrified, and I don't know why you would do this, Erica, because I have spoken so highly of this product on my channel. And it's the Becca so, Evermap Poreless Priming Perfector. Wait, I think I even recommended this to you at one point. Um, time out. Yes. Just one minute. 3.6 out of five stars from Sephora on over 2,600 reviews. Oh, why? So, it's really drying if you it's use dry. it. If you use it too much, like it's a silicone free primer. It's very good for really oily skin. Like if you have the kind of skin that like an hour after wearing your makeup, it is just like greasy no matter what, this is a good primer. So, so I don't know why I'm putting it, it on. <laughs> but it dried completely up, turned their face ghost white, splotchy, red edgy skin on my T-zone. Someone said, it made me less oily, but no matter how I applied it, it dried disgustingly. It made me look like my skin was flaking off. Let's get into the next amazing product. Okay, we're gonna go into the Becca Skin Love. I picked up two shades for you because... I've tried this before. I don't watch your channel. I'm kidding. I'm Rude! Kidding. Oh my gosh, I'm so joking. Rude. I upload a lot of content. I don't expect everybody to watch everything. So... This is kind of... That's better, right? We'll just make it work. You can fix this. Will you wet this for me? No. Best part of having you in the room, I forget everything I am doing. I usually film alone, so I have to like hobble from out. Like when I sit here doing videos, I'm sitting on two pillows so that I can be at like the right angle. Thanks, you're the best. Um, and it's like kind of crammed. Getting up and down is pain in the booty. Thanks. Oh! Oh my gosh, you're so tan. That won't work for you. No. Go away. My last video go away, was really Go away really with your spray pale. tan. I think they went a little hard on the spray tan. It wears all that. What's your favorite foundation? La Mer. It's light, but it's full coverage. Who are you? I'm Nurse Erica. Oh. I do not match my arms for even a minute. I'm gonna need a lot of bronzer. That's the foundation I picked. I look like Jim Carrey in the mask. <laughs> oh, gross. You can see all of my pigmentation through. 
you can see just everything here my pores are pretty visible and it's just not it's not evening me out or covering me up enough and it's still looking like there's a lot of foundation on my face whereas like if you have an evening out kind of moisturizing type of a product like a tinted moisturizer from laura mercier let's say that sinks into the skin and the skin kind of drinks it up really easily this just kind of smears around on top of the skin and i just for that reason alone i don't Someone like it it accentuated my pores yes and I've, I've uh, tried applying it with different primer, nothing seems to help. Someone said spackling paste. Might as well go to Sherman Williams. <laughs> what? Stop Might as well go to Sherman Williams. <laughs> when it dries, it looks like concrete. Is this a Halloween joke? People go hard. Very oh my God. Yeah, wow. Go to Sherman Williams. <laughs> Buy it at a fair price. Okay, what else you got for me? Let's go into some tart creaseless concealer. They got a 3.1 out of 5 stars on, let's see, the shade over medium. a thousand reviews. Do you think I've tried this or not? No. Wrong. I already don't like it. Ha 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 ha. Watch my channel. You should feel bad. I do. I hope you write all about it in your diary tonight. I'm going to move that from underneath my pillow and I'm going to put it in my nightstand. Oh, so I don't get a hold of it. Dear diary, today I cried in my closet because Tati got mad at me that I didn't watch enough of her videos. <laughs> Come read your, do the review ASMR style. I just love it when makeup makes me uglier. Hello again for some ASMR by Nurse Erica. Ouch, one person said that their coworkers told them that they look more tired than usual after using this concealer. Another one said it dried and it looked like I had specks of sand under my eyes. Someone else said that my hair is long and if it blew in my face, it would stick to my <laughs> That's awful. But wow. it's true because like feel, go like this. Isn't that the yeah, stickiest? Yeah, it really is. It feels it's kind so of like sticky. sticky it's like waxy. Um, yeah, guys, I actually, I love Tarte. I love me some Shape Tape. They just needed to stop making concealer altogether after Shape Tape because nothing comes close. And this definitely is miles from it. You know? Yeah, someone said it looks plastic and shiny. Another person <laughs> said um, it creased down or it creased so badly, never dried down and was incredibly dewy. Which I just like just the said. hair sticking to your face. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they can go get some like uh, paint thinner from Sherwin-Williams <laughs> mix it together. Okay, I think we should set it with some Marc Jacobs, the Accomplice Powder. I don't mind this, I just think that there's better kind of illuminating powders out there. I really like Guerlain, um, I'm back into it, you guys. Let me show you something good. This stuff, all of these little tins, it's like old school magic. They have like such a nice sheen to them and they have some color correcting ones that really don't color correct in a wild way, but it just gives you this like glow and this just like smooth finish to your skin, especially if, if you have combo to dry skin. I highly recommend a finishing powder that has that diffusion to it. Another good one would be Hourglass has really good ambient powders. So this is like kind of like powder. that. It's a blurring powder that has a little bit of a sheen to it. You know, it comes in a bunch of different colors, which is nice, but to me, it's just not as fine and even as the other two that I just mentioned. So I don't think this is the worst product ever. I just don't think that it's the best. I think I need some eyebrows because I kind of just feel like I'm all foundation conceal. Uh, so let's do some eyebrows. And I have some MAC pencils. I never use MAC, I, I don't think I've ever used this. Okay, hold on. It got awful reviews. Really? It got a 2.5 out of five on 273 reviews. Why? That's, well, let's find out. Ooh, okay. It's a little patchy. So someone said the older pencil, the older version of this pencil was a million times better. This new one's too chalky. It's like a weird texture to be for a brow pencil. I mean, you can make Sometimes it work. It's very hard to control the pencil. I think that's probably more what it is. I mean, I like the color of this. I'm using the shade. Very um, chalky, very chalky. Spiked. Doesn't 
doesn't last all day. It breaks off, is more oily, not smooth, and easy to use, so pretty consistently on those lower end reviews. This was probably the lowest rated item I got. This is Crap Central. It looks waxy from a distance. If it looks bad from a distance, no, that's saying, not good. I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm saying I can see you struggling to like. Look right. Do you see how it like comes like a lot comes yeah. out? Right. It's just you know what it is. It's one of those where it's like this rubs everywhere, and it'll take you a long time to do what you need to do. And it, really, who wants that frustration, right? So it kind of has the texture, I would say, of like an actual eyeliner pencil, that's the difference. Usually a brow pencil is firmer and it has either a waxy base and just a little bit of pigmentation or it's more of a coal powder. All right, let's get into this bronzer from Givenchy. It's a 3.9 out of five on Sephora, so that was the lowest of the This was the worst bronzers, rated. Yeah. yeah, what are people saying? Let me guess, it's not that pigmented. I've literally, this is like what I'm doing is like this. Yeah. And then I go in here, that's not normal. Like you should be able, you should be able yeah, to get more. Said, the texture is really nice, but the color payoff wasn't anything I already don't have since it was the darkest shade. I mean, maybe it's like a finishing powder cause it's like got this nice so like sheen. This person but said, like, um, I could use it to contour and bronze the hollows of my cheekbones for a nose. Let's try to contour the nose. Let's see, it looks too shiny and like it's just not picking up enough. Well, nope, yes it is on a more concentrated brush. I mean, maybe not terrible for contour? That doesn't look that bad, does it? No. I feel like you'd blend it in a little bit more. Really? Because I can see the line. It's funny because someone else said that it was streaky. Moving on. Natasha? I really don't want to talk poorly about Natasha. Like, I pretend that we're friends in real life, so this is just going to be awkward for me. Well, but this one got, there was only eight reviews on this one. I think we'll like it. I feel like I have this already. Do I have this? No, I don't. This is new. Okay. So, this is going to be beautiful, actually, I it's think. It's a glittery mess, is what people say. Oh. Say. Extremely glittery. This, this right here reminds me a lot of the Fenty but it would look, it has that nice kind of golden finish to it. And I actually think this would be beautiful on deeper skin tones. My brush just broke. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the more gel side first. Man, that foundation is like creasing to high heaven on me too. If you want a foundation that will not crease ever, 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 never, ever, ever, I'm gonna link below my Shiseido review. That foundation, it has this like snap back refreshing technology, which none of us know what that is. I have no, like what ingredient is doing that, but it does not crease. It is like the wildest thing. And I wish I was wearing it. I'm not. Ooh. I mean, I can kind of see why people have an issue with this, I guess. The glitter bits are pretty intense, but... I love glitter, so like to me, I'm like, so what? Don't let anybody dull your sparkle. Do I look sweaty? I feel like after using that foundation, you need to look sweaty, it's so dry. <gasps> oh my so, god! I'm not being rude to you, I'm just speaking about how the product's performance. If any of you ever wondered about how I stay so humble, um, <laughs> Don't worry, my family keeps me in check. No, but you girls have always like kind of poked fun at all of my over the top glam. And I think I story told this one time on my channel already, but when we were in the car and I was walking over to Eileen's and like, you guys are like, how does she even walk in those high heels? And like the second you all said that, I like hit the floor. I've broken my high heel twice while working retail. Please tell me how that happened. What did you do? My feet hurt and then I like lean. I lean backwards and the heel snapped off. You have to go buy new shoes? What'd you do? They made me stand behind the counter with no shoes on. I was like traumatized um, with how bad my high heels would hurt. And it was kind of not encouraged, but like 
you know, you wanted to be one of like the, the really posh put together girls when you're selling like, you know, higher end makeup and doing makeup, you want people to trust you and feel like they're in good hands and you kind of dress the part. So I wore high heels when I sold makeup and I had these like knee high boots that I thought were the cutest thing in the world. And I would wear them all the time, but I'd do that thing where I'd kind of like bend back on my heels. Anything to alleviate it. Anything to like, you hop back one foot, the other foot, you kind of lean back a little, right? And then one day, like one of my coworkers was like, you need some new shoes. And I look in the mirror and from doing that, the heel had like slanted under so much, no matter what, if I was standing up straight, they kind of slanted under. And I feel like YSL just came up with a design where the heel is like structured to already be like that. And I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, I'm triggered, I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm like, no. I can't do it. Okay, moving into eyes, let's do a little eyes. I am gonna use this Anastasia primer. I've used this twice after that video. And I have a love hate with it. I mean, I actually kind of like how bright and white it is. I wish it had a creamier texture, like not so paste-like. Like I wish it was like painterly paint pot, just amped up with the coverage pigment being a little bit lighter. Like I like how light this is. You'll see you need the tiniest amount, like just a oh my gosh. dab will do you. Sherman Williams X Tati Clap. <laughs> Let's dive into this new drama. Three and a half out of five stars. I don't like Almost this one. Almost 200 reviews. I don't like this one either. It just, the pigmentation is actually not the greatest. Chalky doesn't stay in place, doesn't blend. Glitter shades are flaky and the matte shades have no pigment whatsoever. Do you like Bobbi Brown products? I can't really say I've used a whole lot of Bobbi Brown. I actually read all of her books back in the day. I love her artistry and like, I love the brand that she built. She is no longer in the creative. So I have to kind of feel like, you know, yeah, that's hard. It's, you know, it has her name on it. And that's gotta, I mean, that's, that sucks. At some point, you know, most people will sell their companies so that they can exit and go and do something else that's reinvigorating your creativity and like I get the need to sell and leave um and have that legacy there but it does it's gotta suck to kind of have your name on something and have someone not get a formula 100 100 correct it's like who is it um Kevin Aquan? Yeah. yeah he's not even alive anymore his makeup artistry though shoot he was literally the best from a distance your eyeshadow actually looks really good thank you i mean at, looking in the mirror it is really patchy to be honest but i can see that on the outer corners of your do you well, see especially on your left eye so it's not as smooth as i would like but i've said this so many times on my channel you can make anything work just keep mm -hmm. buffing and blending correct the situation wherever it's patchy, blend, 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 circular motions. You can always alternate between what you're laying the color down with and grabbing a clean brush and then going back in. Yikes. Yeah, up close it does not look very good. I'm gonna try some of the sparkly shades. That's not bad. All right, moving into liner. This is the Eyes to Kill Lacquered Eyeliner. What's so wrong with this? There's not a whole lot wrong with it. So Neiman Marcus, it got great reviews, 4.7, but at Sephora, it got a 2.5. What? All right, one person said this is the worst thing ever. Why? It applies patchy, seems dry, and when it goes on, it rubs off the previous layer you have already applied. Um, the felt tip only delivers half of an eye worth product. That's not true. Then I have to spend 30 seconds shaking the pen to get more liquid. What do we think? I think it looks pretty dope. That was fast. But this is a tiny amount of product, right? I also kind of don't like it when you have the shaker in there and it can, ooh. Whoa. Come look at that up close. I see it. Wow. 
Yeah, when you have the shaker point in here, it can really like mess up. Oh my God. What the hell? Wow. You can see that from a distance. That is a $36 eyeliner. I have to say I'm still enjoying the House Laboratories liner. That one is really good. It's moving the pigment around, so it's like super yeah. patch. And oh my God. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's that looks bad. like a dried out eyeliner. It's so bad. Let's move into the NARS Climax Mascara. Surprised that this has bad reviews. Yes, this one has actually consistent reviews. I mean, I'm really picky with mascara and honestly, like Tom Ford Emotion Proof is worth every penny in my mind. Dior makes some good mascaras, but really I'm a drugstore girl when it comes to mascara. So this mascara actually, it was probably the second lowest one I got. 3.3 uh, 3 stars on 458 reviews. Made my lashes super clumpy with, clumpy with crumb fallout. Lashes look super spidery. Left me with black specks and raccoon eyes. What? Someone else said it smeared very easily. Okay, that's not that. I, I think those are kind of, this is not that bad. I just think maybe don't spend the money on something like that, I don't know. It's not the worst I've ever tried. Definitely not the best. Um, let's move into some Tom Ford. I got a 3.2 star review. Why? Didn't love that it transferred when all said and done. I so mean, I the could... applicator broke when I opened it. Oh, well that sucks. The formula is very thick. It feels heavy on the lips and accentuates dry patches and lines on the lips. I'm gonna try this shade a little darker. This is Pussycat. I actually don't mind these. I mean like, Tom Ford is expensive. It's not for everyone. Um, Someone said it bleeds around the lips. Really? Tasted terrible and dried my lips out. Well, my lips are already dry, so yeah. what's, what's a little more? Wow, a lot of people said applicator broke. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna put on my brow gel now. This one I actually like. However, the brush on here, you wanna make sure you give a good wipe down to, otherwise you will have an issue with a ton of product going everywhere. It's unusual to see a brow product have a brush that is this long, and I'm guessing that's maybe part of the issue that people are complaining about. Don't know that this is my- The brush is enormous and pulls up chunks at the tip. The formula applies too wet, and then when you try to manipulate it, it gets flaky. Yeah, it, you have to be done with your brows Sounds at this good. step. Yeah. Um, I think this, I would need a darker shade, but I do remember trying this out and thinking that the coverage was really nice, but it is one of those things where if you go in, you're done. You're not gonna go in and manipulate it more. It's dried down, it's locked you in. Don't mess with it, otherwise it will look like that crunchy hairspray, hair stuck together kind of a thing. and. You know, I would recommend this with any fiber colored brow product, whether it's a large brush or small one, it's gonna naturally get a lot on the tip. Mascara does the same thing. You usually won't notice it because there's more to pull through and work with. With a brow product, even you can like go on the back of your hand, grab a tissue, same thing. Uh, it's an extra little kind of annoying step, but it will make sure that you don't get that product everywhere that you don't want it. Okay, let's set the face. I'm alarmed. I love Guerlain and I love the gold primer. So and why is this? That. Why is this? It got a low review at Sephora. However, there mm -hmm. weren't that many reviews to base that off of. It did get a four and a half on their website, or on Nordstrom's website. Let's see what kind of a mist. Oh, luxury. That smells like perfume. That terrifies me to just be like, poof, 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 poof. irritates your oh skin. Gosh, the first review that popped up a one star. Shoot. The amount of fragrance and alcohol in here is so strong. It was like spraying perfume on my face. End up giving me a headache since the smell does not fade quickly. <sighs> Come here. Very heavy scent. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I think the bottle's really pretty and I've already sprayed it. So I'm just gonna like put it like cute in the background somewhere, but I don't think I will continue using this just because I've shared with you guys so many times that fragrance just makes my skin act wacky. 
If it's a light fragrance, if it's a small percentage, fine. If it's from a plant-based ingredient, essential oils, some of them, okay, but that's just too much. I'm that way with lip products too though, like by Terry lip products, I wish I could use them, but they are so rose heavy floral fragrance that I'm just like, mm, I can't, I can't do it. If you guys enjoyed this, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And maybe if we get enough thumbs ups, Erica will actually sit on camera and bare face it and we can get ready together. Makeup lesson with Tati 101. Thumbs this video up if you wanna see that. Make sure you are subscribed. Ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. Go have a good one. Hopefully a better makeup experience than I had here today. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.